Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a fun way to connect some traditional origami to make some decorations for the holiday season. And I thought I'd share with you guys a way to kind of combine the star origami to make some fun patterns. And this is just one example of a kind of cool, uh, you know, kind of coaster or sort of a snowflake kind of pattern or what have you that you can use. And you can certainly use all sorts of different colors. This one here I'm showing you guys is with the two color pattern. And I was going to just show you how to put it together with red as well. But um, you just need six pieces of six completed stars. And and then some glue to put it all together um, so it's kind of a craft origami project but it makes a really kind of fun and neat looking kind of pattern and um, just so many different ways that you can use it for decorating around the house for the holidays or for any other time you want to make somebody a gift or something uh, lots of different ways you can use it so uh, I'll show you guys the uh, process again to remind you of how to make a star uh, and then how to put everything together. Um, the star origami uses paper that's actually not square. What you want to do is cut off a third of the paper here. So to find a third, if you just take your paper and you roll it into an S and then smoosh everything down and try to make those three lengths the same length, as close to it as you can, <laughs> give it a little pinch. And then I'm just going to fold over here on one of those pinches that I made and go ahead and trim off this part and it'll give me what winds up being a 10 by 15 sheet of paper. So I'll trim this off really quick. So I get this paper here and then I just need to fold this in half on that other crease that I made. And then I can take this top edge and roll it down, creating a point right here at the top left corner, and bring this tip right down to the center crease I just made. Make a nice crease there. And then I'm going to follow the angle that I've created by just folding over and bringing that top edge even with the other side, folding down. Flip everything over and then just take what you see here as the extra and fold it as close to that edge as you can nice and snug. And then we're just going to tuck that inside so that one of these sides you should have a perfectly clean triangle. Now the other side's going to have a little bit of white, that's okay. But with that nice side facing up, I'm just going to fold everything in half to make a series of crisscross creases in the middle. So I'm just going to take everything and fold it in half. Try to keep things as straight as you can. Turn it around and you'll wind up doing this three times. You want to try to keep stuff snug as you do this. This side follows pretty naturally because of where the edge of the paper is, so that's nice. This last one is a little tricky because you've got this paper edge that's a little loose. So you want to try to start down at the bottom, get up at the top, and then just keep this part rolled over as much as you can so that it winds up being included with the crease. Open everything up. You should have a nice little crisscross that matches right there in the center of the triangle. Flip it over, and I'm going to take each of the three points and fold it to that point of the crisscross. And just try to keep everything as flat as you can when you do this. Flip it over, and then I'm going to take and fold each of my sides all the way over to the other edge. Make a nice crease, and then let this part fall back on the crease we've already made. We're just going to go around in a circle and you wind up folding this in on itself to create a six pointed star. On this last one here, again, we've got these extra layers, so you might want to, you might find them shifting around a little. And when you fold this part down, you want to make sure that you're really getting snug to where the crease is, that things didn't shift a little on you. Because ideally, when this folds down, you want to have as minimal amount of this showing. And if you happen to have a little more there than you'd like, you can kind of open things up for a second and just trim off that little, this little part here a little bit so that it's not in the way. Then I just want to alternate these folds so that I have one edge under and one edge uh, on top. So you can see here I have both edges on top, so I'm going to tuck obviously this one under because I don't want to see that white. And then tuck this one up here under too. So you should have under, over, under, over for all of these to complete a nice little star. And like I said, you need six of them. And then we are just going to be piecing them together uh, by putting a little bit of glue on one of these tabs and just 
putting these sides together and bringing them together like so. Um, and you can use this process and glue to, to do all sorts of different patterns. You could make uh, you know other things other than the shape I've shown you guys. But um, you know, this is just one way to kind of bring these together. So uh, I'm just trying to keep this little line edge here in the middle just, just to kind of keep things uniform. Um, you, you don't necessarily have to do that, but I think it helps keep everything sort of balanced. But I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here on this side and keep everything here nice and snug. Try to get that in there as close as I can. And then I just kind of go around and do this for the others so that I wind up getting all six pieces put together and create this shape that's kind of like a hexagon with six sides. And then the last one will connect here as well. And like I so said, this is just sort of a fun and easy way to kind of connect things to make a completed piece. And there's lots of other ways uh, to, you know, put it together and use the pieces for things, but uh, just some fun, I fun kind of quick way. Uh, making the star itself is a fun project. It's not too difficult in terms of the folds, so you could, you know, recruit family members to have everybody make some if you wanted to. And I'll have some more fun projects to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!